All right, we have figured out how to get multiple inputs into GarageBand with the devices we have. So whether it is the Mackie big knob, which is the black boxes that we're using in the big room, uh, or the red boxes, whether the single input for one guitar or bass, or the double inputs, which we have in a couple of the rooms, you can have whatever devices. It doesn't matter what brand. The software will configure it to be one big device. They call an aggregate aggregate device. So this article is in Schoology and it explains how we put all these things together to get as many inputs as we need so each person can have their own sound. So here we go. So first off, take a look at the article. This will help. I'm going to demonstrate it live right now. So here I have a file and I created a number of different tracks and I'm going to show you how I got the inputs. So first off I go to the Mac hard drive or Macintosh HD up at the top here if you're looking in this view, you can see it this way, or you can see it this way, doesn't really matter. Go into Applications, scroll down until you find Utilities. Again, it might look like this, and there's Utilities. Open it up, and it could look like this, and you're looking for Audio MIDI Setup. Double click it, and let's close this out. Boink. And what we have here, let me turn all these off, and this right here, you click down here to add a new aggregate device and right now we have one so if I got rid of this one it would go bye bye but click plus click uh, create aggregate device here we go I got that right there and right now it doesn't have any devices so I'm going to click I have one red box on the desk plus I have the uh, big knob as well okay now these other things are also connected with the computer but I'm not worried about it so you can see the big knob has two inputs the Scarlet Solo has two inputs. We're only using one because one's a microphone setup, but we're not using that. We're just using one uh, guitar or bass input. So the total will be three. But right now you can see we have Scarlet, we have Big Knob, okay? And what I'm looking for is inputs and outputs. So we have right now the Scarlet, watch this, I'm gonna switch the order. Why? Because I want to. I wanna have this first, and then I'll have that. So one and two in the back of the Big Knob box, uh, work for two different instruments. We have guitar or bass. And then say we have another guitarist that will be in input two on the red box. And um, again, it doesn't matter which brand or what, you might have two red boxes, two with two inputs and one with one input. We just put together the number we want for the number of inputs that we need. And um, so what we're gonna do now is, now that we have this set up, let's go over to the software. And here's GarageBand and you'll see that we have four inputs, one and two, which are on the big knob box. And then we have three as a microphone, so we're not gonna use that on the red box, but number four is in the red box um, as a regular guitar setup. And you can see this right here is set up on number four. I could go up here and I could set this up on number one, which it is. And then over here could be, um, I want a different one, so I'll do two. Um, in fact, it, it, so it doesn't really matter. The inputs depend on what you're going to be doing. So this could be one, this could be two. Okay, so this might be guitar player one, guitar player two, and then this would be the bass player. Or a third guitarist. In my case, I'm playing three different guitars in the three different tracks. Then we make sure that the monitoring is all turned on so we can hear everything. Then we can hear the drums. So as long as this is turned on for everybody, we can hear all of them simultaneously as they're playing. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go into aggregate one. So I'm going to unplug my guitar here and plug into the big knob. Okay, so you can hear the sound. I'm monitoring it right now. And it says it's input number one, which is track number one or channel number one on the big knob. I'm going to click on this. And this is now track number two, so I have to unplug and plug in the other cable, which I just have one guitar right now, and I'm just plugging in the different cables so to prove that I'm not lying to you. So right now we cannot monitor, so. And this one is all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's loud. Crazy! I'll turn monitoring off. And if I go here, this is number four. Um, 
again, I unplug again, and I'll go into device number with the fourth input, which is the red box. And if you turn off monitoring when you plug in, you know, you're not going to hear anything feeding back. Then once you're plugged in and ready to go, you can, you know, Fun, 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 fun. So that, in a summarization, is how we can get multiple inputs using the aggregate process, which is in this article, which is in the utilities on the Mac. So we are in business. Now we just need an extra device. Maybe you need another red box to go along with what you have with you already with either a red box or the big knob or some other device. But uh, we are in business because we have the hardware and now we know how to configure the software. We don't need anything else. And there you go.